Dotted across the country are a network of more than 40 Saudi students, schools and clubs teaching Muslim children up to the age of 18 in the evenings and at weekends. We wanted to find out what they were being taught, so we sent a young Saudi researcher undercover in London. He asked for and obtained the books, part of the Saudi national curriculum for teaching 12 and 13 year olds. There is a hadith that says that the Jews were cursed by God. They also say here that the Jews, they look like monkeys and pigs. We obtained all 12 years of the Saudi curriculum, which include diagrams about the punishment for thieves, one hand chopped off for a first offence, a foot for the second. Saudi officials told us that passages from the Quran are often taken out of their historical context, so we showed them to an academic known internationally for his expertise on the Quran. To, to present it cold as it seems to be here, mm -hmm. as just part, cold in the the part, of the, yes, part of the teaching of Islam, um, no, it's not wise. In the wrong hands, I think it, yes, I think it is ammunition for anti-Semitism. The Saudi embassy insisted to us that they have no connection to the network of Saudi students, schools and clubs that are using these textbooks. However, the director for the network confirmed to Panorama that the Saudi Cultural Bureau, which is part of the embassy, does have authority over the Saudi students, schools and clubs. The government said offensive teaching will not be tolerated. I'm clear that we cannot have anti-Semitic material of any kind being used in English schools. And the school inspector at Ofsted is considering whether to bring in some kind of inspection system for part-time schools. John Ware, BBC News.